Hey everyone, it's John here with the Peggy Hill team. I am here today to share my love with rugby. Uh, I share my love of rugby with you guys. So um, a lot of people seem to be seem to think that rugby is really aggressive, dangerous sport, but it is actually a really eloquent and fun game. You can play it non-contact with friends and family and not have to worry about getting each other hurt. So um, today I'm looking to show you guys how to do a spin pass. There's two basic passes in rugby, the pop pass and the spin pass, which most people think, think of when they think of a rugby pass. So I'm going to ignore the pop pass today and I'm going to show you guys the basics for how to do a spin pass. So we're going to start with uh, your dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my hand at the bottom of the ball on the back side. I'm going to bring it down to my hip. And I'm going to getting ahead of myself here. You never pass the ball forward in rugby. But for this little exercise, I'm just going to demonstrate the basics. You're going to start with the ball down by your hip, and you're going to push it forward, just like that. Practice this over and over with a friend until you feel pretty comfortable with the motion. And then you want to start adding in a spin to it. And one of the things you got to keep in mind when you're getting a good spin is to follow through on it. So you want to have your fingers follow through and you're going to be looking at your target between your fingers. So work on that for a little while until you're feeling comfortable holding the ball. You can also just practice spinning it like this to yourself if you don't have a friend around at the time. And then when you're comfortable with that, you want to start moving to the more lateral throw. You're always throwing the ball behind you in rugby. You can never throw it forward or to this or directly beside you. You have to throw it backwards. So when you're comfortable, you want to start again at your hip and move it across your body like this. You want to get comfortable doing that, getting a nice little spin on it. Let's get a bit more room here. And then when you're feeling really good, you want to introduce your other hand. Now your other hand doesn't add any force or strength to your pass. It's just there to help you guide the ball to where you want to be. Sometimes your player isn't right where you want him to be. You've got to throw it a bit further or behind or to a different direction. So the other hand is just to guide it, not extra strength. Now that's pretty much the basics. Um, if, uh, if you want to really increase your strength and make a really strong pass, you start to engage your core and use your legs and your, and your torso to really enhance the strength of the ball. You're not necessarily trying to throw the ball wide with your arms out, out in front of you and out by your sides. You want to keep it in tight and use your core to twist your body and really drive the ball with your legs and with your core. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day.